¿Estás empezando a encarar una estrategia de prospección outbound? Antes de empezar, te recomiendo que veas este video donde Aaron Ross, quien es el autor de Predictable Revenue, te enseña a través de cómo enfocarte en un nicho, vas a mejorar la eficiencia de los mensajes y también de las ventas. Te invito a verlo. The predictable, so this book, the predictable revenue book came out about six years ago. And something that I've learned since then <clears throat> is that most of the companies that struggle to grow, that have flat, that where they're struggling with sales or have problems with sales, the most common problem is that they haven't yet nailed a niche. Whether you're struggling for the company to grow or especially to tr make outbound prospecting work. What does that mean? Uh, and this is from uh, a new book that came out called From Impossible to Inevitable. But this idea of nailing a niche means that you have become very focused in the kinds of customers that you're targeting. Okay. Rather than trying to sell to all kinds of customers, you're saying of the 20 types of customers we have, there's really four that really need us the most, where they have to have us. We, we, we'd say you're a need to have, not a nice to have. So being, um, I guess, diligent or being strict in the kinds of companies that you target and also the kinds of companies you avoid, right? Because for most companies that are struggling with sales, they waste a lot of time and money marketing and selling to companies that will never buy, right? Because they're desperate. I want to sell to everybody that works against you. You will be much more successful when you're very focused in a few key types of customers that are the most likely to buy from you. So that's what we call nailing a niche about focus and there are many ways to define your ideal customer profile like who's your ideal customer it could be based on geography it could be based on size of company it could be based on the kind of technology the type of industry they're in the type of jobs or leadership they have or priorities so there's no single best way to do that but the idea is Sometimes between the, for the companies that needed you the most, who were the most excited to buy from you, how are they different than the companies that talked with you, you know, we did a demo, and, but they never bought? Like why are those different? The need to have versus the nice to have. And when you sit down and you I really identify how those situations, what's different about those situations. And you use that information to become more specific in how you're marketing and more specific in how you're doing outbound prospecting, you will generate more money. Okay, so focus. So one example of um, a challenge here that people struggle with is Nailing a niche means not only knowing the best kind of customer, but also being able to understand them and, and speak to them in their language, in ways that they care about. Because most companies, and honestly most of you, talk too much about your product and features. No one cares about what you do. They don't, they don't care if you're software. They don't care if you have uh, if you're a service, they don't care. What they care about is what, how can you help me? So here's one tip you can use to improve your messaging, like the way that you communicate right away. Uh, if someone asks you, what do you do? Right, a normal answer, I might say, I could say, oh, I'm a sales coach or I'm a sales author. Right? They don't care. But what if I pretended they asked me, how do I help companies? Then my mind automatically thinks, hmm, I help companies grow revenue faster. Or 
I help companies triple their revenue growth or I help companies create outbound prospecting teams that triple their revenue growth. So what you could do is when people ask you, what do you do? Pretend instead they've asked you, how do you help customers? Because it automatically will help you think about your answer to tell them in a way that is more results oriented in a way that they care about more. So that's the, because if you, they don't get, they don't care about what you do. They don't care about your language. They care about is how are you going to help me solve a problem? How are you going to help me make money? How are you going to help me avoid a risk or, uh, you know, reduce my risk or save money? Like get to the point. All right. So to wrap up this section, what's important to understand is that for companies, if you have grown based on all your relationships, right? Your friends, customers, um, that works. That's where you should start. But at some point to grow past those relationships, to be able to market and sell to people that don't know you, right? because those relationships someday they end up, you know, you grow, but then you flatten. So to keep growing, you need to learn how to market and sell to people who don't know you very well. And that's what this idea of nailing a niche really means is who needs you the most? What do they care about? So that you don't, um, you're not dependent on relationships to grow your business. Bueno, espero que te haya servido el fragmento de esta charla. Si querés ver la charla completa, ahora al final te va a aparecer un link para acceder. También te invito a que te suscribas a mi canal Primera Reunión, donde vas a poder encontrar las diferentes entrevistas o diferentes charlas con profesionales eh, que están encarando procesos, eh, estructurando procesos de venta B2B. Eh, y a su vez, en mi sitio, primerareunión.com, también vas a poder encontrar más contenido, eh, incluyendo una charla, por ejemplo, con Aaron Ross, eh, el autor de Proyecto del Revenue. Bueno, espero que te haya servido. Thank you.